When Turkey deployed the Fatih and Yavuz gas and oil prospecting ships to the waters off of Cyprus's coast in July, the EU called the move illegal and threatened to cut hundreds of millions of dollars in loan money to Turkey. Cypriot President Nikos Anastasiadis accused Turkish Petroleum Corporation of economic invasion. Weeks later, Turkey's seemingly unfazed government announced it will deploy a third ship. Turkey has uh, received the message which came uh, loud and clear from the uh, international community, not only from the European Union. Uh, we hope that they can read the messages and understand that it's also in their interest to stop these illegal activities. And Turkish civilians should wait until the settlement and uh, when the settlement is found, they will be able to use uh, these resources. This is unacceptable and this is not fair. Cyprus was partitioned in 1974. The northern or Turkish Republic side covers a third of the island's territory and makes up about 18% of the 1.1 million population. The Greek Cypriot south covers two-thirds of the island and is internationally recognized. Major issues, including those that center around maritime zones and energy exploration, keep the two sides in perpetual dispute. The situation gets more complicated. As Turkey deploys a third ship to this area, leaders of the two sides are sitting down to talk peace for the first time in two years. They'll meet again trilaterally in New York this September with UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. Turkey's gas exploration infuses pressure on both sides to find pathways to negotiations. One local analyst sees two possible outcomes. Uh, resolve the Cyprus problem, we enter into negotiations and talk about it and have a comprehensive solution, or we have some ad hoc agreements on energy alone or maritime zones alone that would de-escalate the whole conflict. Alternatively, the situation could escalate further. Stephanie Freed, CGTN, Nicosia, Cyprus.